Boom, guys, you already know what it is. You know LT, aka Titan Gaming. And as you can see in front of me right now, we are playing the first Ascendant. And as you can see, I've got the Evolved Evolution skin. I think it's Bunny Speedy Awaken. Now, they've had a recent hotfix right now. So you can see the first Ascendant hotfix here. The way it says it was done today. And basically, it went over like, well, the things I want to cover, anyways, is they've won nerfed glaze basically but like bomberizing effect so as in not, not technically as in like they nerf the move but they nerf the visual aspect so in other words players can actually see clearly now instead of like glaze just kind of fog up the whole screen um and two was obviously bunny's evolved skin one i was covering before now before in the game it was like a tedious quest pretty much to kind of go through and be able to kind of like uh, be able to land things to happen right so um for example, like land an electrocution, so just going right down to that part here. I'm going to cover the rest in a second, but um, so here, use well, so use bunny skills to inflict electrocution on enemies has been removed from the second and first stage evolution conditions of bunny's evolved skin, speedy awakened one. Now the issue with that is before it, I was set to like around 125,000 or something ridiculous I believe of electrocutions. Now the issue with is Bunny herself is a powerful character. So um, when it came down to like landing electrocutions your enemy had to be alive for it to even take effect right. But as you can see at the time of the recording um, obviously they've changed it now. So it's just defeat enemy using Bunny skills and the... Uh, threshold for stage three is up to 100,000 now before obviously like I said it was like you have to do an execution as it says on the patch notes as well um, and that was just a grind like if I've got a picture on it, I'll show you like how it looked um, so technically I had to like farm my way through the level white knight uh, was it white knight gulch or something like that and I think they've even noticed that uh, they've even noticed that on the, the game they actually said that they wanted people to stop um, exploiting that level in sense of basically standing in one corner and basically able to spawn more opponents over and over again so now they said instead of you doing that and that farming that hack we want you to farm in sense of actually you're fighting so if you're fighting it will spawn more opponents here and there so still i believe that is the one with the most enemies that come into the game because my game was lagging when i was doing so on that i did try to do the exploited method beforehand where you just kind of camp in one area and you do a roll to kind of bring out your electric energy um but again i don't think that worked very um, well with me so i had to just kind of do it manually but as it says the fortress outskirts have been a popular uh, farming area with many monsters pouring in from the beginning of launch we love the run and the kill play and believe running and shooting and bursting are the fundamental aspects of a looter shooter however using the terrain to exploit and gather monsters without any action was not what we intended if anyone simply stood still and hunted the game's enjoyment would quickly diminish therefore we decided to make a change we maintained the spawn rate by keeping the full value uh, vulgar resource stores storage active simultaneous but monsters will not increase when players are idle run shoot and create some expulsion many more monsters will continue to appear now i feel that's kind of bad in a sense of a way to say that you have to you're forced to kind of move for example i understand when body situation you move anyways but if you're being someone like ajax and you're pretty you're pretty much i mean staple in your position you've got your shield in play you've got a good location you can kind of you know farm your points out i mean so be it right that's your play style should be able to kind of be rewarded for that unless you get like bombarded and you can't stay there for any any long period of time so to know that they're nerfing that and then they're playing like the amount of enemies you are fighting is only contributing to more you run around and shoot and things like that i kind of just feel that spit you know what i mean but um i think the reason why they did do that anyway is because my pc person anyways wasn't and it's a good pc you know what i mean it's not bad it's you know it's a mid-tier pc i don't know if it's made but it's good it could run it at you know i run this at medium settings 1080p go around 60 fps 80 fps uh, you know what i mean in some locations and um yeah so anyways getting to the point i was struggling when it came down to like getting all the npcs on the screen at once or you know all the enemies running at you like it was bad you know what i mean but so i can imagine they pretty nerfed it for that reason since of like okay cool um if you're going to like take on enemies you have to fight to actually earn, earn that sort of point of, and rather than kind of have them all run around you know what i mean but i don't know I digress but um yeah that's what we have for it so far anyways so anyways the content i really wanted to go over but what i will do i'll put a link in my bio or the description below and so you guys can kind of follow up with yourself but if you want more content of like the first ascendant uh you want to see like the stuff i get up to and stuff like that you know um and you just want to see a lot more content you really know what to do like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one boom let's get it we out